The All-Star Celebration comes to Fargo. The annual North Dakota Lions All-Star Basketball Games hosting their second day of games for these recently graduated players. We saw a split out in Bismarck for the first games. Class B winning the girls and the A schools winning the boys game. We'll see if we get familiar results tonight, starting with the girls. Class A finishing the first half with a slim lead, but Class B storming right back. Ellie Broughton out of West Hope Newburgh puts her defender on skates, has a wide open look from the corner, draining the three to help put Class B ahead 51 to 47. Moving into the final minutes of this one, the back and forth continues. Central Cass's DeConte Smith scoops up the loose ball and sends it up through a sea of hands. Class B with a late lead, but it won't hold. This one we need an extra quarter. We head into overtime tied at 79, and that's when Class A takes over. Century's Bergen Kinnebrew draws every defender down low and dishes it to Morali Simon. The Bison commit finishes it up from there. Both of these two dropping over 20 points tonight. And now they're going to put this one out of reach. Another feed from Kinnebrew, but this time it's Jamestown's Ella Falk striking from mid range. Class A building on that late lead, and they're going to hold this one all the way to the end, forcing a split with a 97 to 88 win. And now the main event of the evening, the Class B boys off to an early lead in our final All-Star game of the year. We've got a mad scramble for the ball gathered up by Carson Yale. Look at the ball movement here. A couple of quick passes and Tate Grossman from Harvey Wells County lays it in through the foul for the old fashioned three point play. Class B with a 15 to 5 lead in the early minutes. Class A looking to get something going now. Thankfully, Minot's Derek Desette brought the magic with him to Fargo. North Dakota State commit spins around and drives it to halt their scoring drought. The A team still trying Trying to battle back, Ray Brown on the fast break feeds it over to Zach Kraft. The Rough Rider lets it fly from there. Kraft's sharp shooting cutting into that Class B lead. But the scoring just keeps coming. Tyson Ingot drives the baseline, kicks it out to Connor Kurzman. The Garrison grad drains it from three point land. Class B with a 12 point lead midway through the first half. And we get a split in the boys' games this year as well. Class B taking this one 107 to 100. The FM Redhawks are going to halt a five game losing skid as they open their series in Lincoln tonight. They have a man on third in the top of the very first inning, but we won't have to wait there for very long. Manny Boscon with a blast out left. That's going to be enough to bring Evan Alexander home on the sack fly. It ain't pretty, but it's honest work. The Redhawks lead one to nothing. They're going to hold that lead all the way to the bottom of the sixth. Luke Roskam leading things off and doing so in style. A deep shot all the way out to left field. It's going to land on the other side of the fence. A solo homer from Roskam ties it up at one. Those salty dogs are going to finish the frame with a 2-1 lead, but fret not Red Hawks fans. Scott Schreiber takes a big swing at the very first pitch he sees. It is out of here. Schreiber playing in his first game in a Red Hawk uniform immediately makes an impact. Ties this game at two runs each, and the losing skid is over. The Red Hawks rally back for a 4-3 win. The series will continue tomorrow night. A heck of a debut for Schreiber there. Oh, yeah. He's getting things back on the right track. Yep. And right before the All-Star break, I, I assume that's when you want to do it. They'll probably take it anytime, I guess. Anytime is a good time. <laughs> Hutch is back in with one more look at your forecast after the break. Stick around.